my sewing friends welcome to my sewing room my name is Beth and if you're new welcome today's video is just a little lesson on how to put some of these freeform blocks together using a rotary blade and some sort of rectangle or squares cutting a little arc sewing them together and that's the beginning of a beautiful fun quilt so let's get started for my first sample here, I'm just using two pieces of fabric and they're about eight by nine inches. And I'm going to use my rotary blade and just give myself a real gentle curve. I don't want that curve to be too sharp, real gentle. And I will add another cut, just free form. And then I'll be mixing this fabric up and sewing it all together. decided after the fact that I wanted a third color so I just used one of my little pieces there as my pattern and I used that and cut out another piece so that my little block here will have three colors rather than two. I'm going to sew them together, right sides together, and I just need to take one piece and beginning at the edge there, I will, I'm not going to pin or um, figure out where the center is like you would if you had uh, pieces that need to match, but I'm just going to put my pieces together as I go along. I'll put the edges together and my seam is a scant quarter inch. I'm getting, trying to get away with as small a seam as possible. And you'll find out that when you get your three pieces together, the edges do not meet because we didn't add, for this block, I didn't add a seam allowance. So the edges will not meet and that's okay. So I'll press this and then I'll trim. This time I'll use three fabrics and I will cut my arcs and this time that center piece is a, quite a bit wider, but I want all of my blocks to be just a little bit different. The only constant is that arc going through my square here. After getting my arcs all sewn together, what I do is I go back and I just straighten the edges. And at this point, I don't worry about what size because I'm going to do some puzzling later on. I'm going to decide which way I want them to set in my quilt, uh, I'm, which colors I want to put together. And so right now I just straighten things up and in the, towards the end of this video, I will be puzzling it all together.
After getting some blocks ready, and if I were making a quilt, I would make all my blocks and then I would arrange them in rows, sew the rows together, and my quilt will be ready to go. This is a fun, just a no thinking kind of quilt, a fun time to play with color, and I really enjoy making these blocks. They're always a surprise. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.